All right, I've had all sorts of exciting things happen in my life, so I haven't done one of these video reviews in a while. But I've been wanting to look at this for, uh, I don't know, six months since I got it. And now it's finally time. I'm going to try to review all of the Common Rider bikes that I have. Because what good is a Common Rider without his ride? This is the DX Tri Chaser 2000 and Gorem set. Um, what to say about it? I bought it on Mandarake for about $45 before shipping. Um, I have no idea what year it was released or how much it originally retailed for, but I'm pretty sure Mandarake is going to be the best place to get it. Um, as a quick scale comparison, here is the box for Figure Arts Hardboiler. Note that this is not a Figure Arts release. Um, but it is scaled really close to them. And this gives me an excuse to finally open the reissue Kuga that I got two or three months ago. My basement flooded a couple of weeks ago due to some torrential rains received in the area. And I have not had access to my light box or to my display room for a while. And I still don't actually have a display room. But hopefully we'll get carpet here soon. So once you open it, this is the package. And it's not taped shut, so it's going to just fall open and everything's going to fall out. Uh, let's look at the stand first. It comes with a beautiful gold chrome stand. Uh, I guess it's a black mat. It's a black stand with gold chrome on it. With Kuga's logo on it. Nice. And an arm, which plugs in. Um, I think this is the way we would want it. Click. Nice solid click. And it's got a sticker that has not been applied, despite it having been previously owned item, that says Trigoram. I don't know if I will bother to... Okay, sorry, I lied. It does want to go the other way. Like this. This is the front. So I could put this on there, and maybe I will someday, but not today. Let's look at the bike first. Because this is half of the reason why I bought it. The other half being the Gorham. Ha ha ha. Now that I'm done being funny, here's the Tri-Gorham. Sorry, the Tri-Chaser 2000. The prototype um, new motorcycle developed for the police department that Ichigo, Ichijo gives to Godai to use in hunting down the Grongi. And now it's been a while since I've watched Kugan, so I'm forgetting all the names. It is a really nice, hefty bike. It's uh, it's not got a ton of die cast in it, but these exhaust pipes, I guess you would call them, are metal. And I think something in here is metal. Oh, this entire silver frame, silver and red frame in the middle is is uh, metal. It's got a nice cool logo on both sides there. Um, this side has screws holes on it though. It's got a flip out stand and it's got a something in here. This does something. I can't remember why though. Oh. This goes up, that pops out to hold it up. That's for the transformation. It also does this. And that's also for the transformation. Um, I am missing an accessory that I need. I will be right back with an open Kuga to go with it. So here's Kuga. Um, and I must say, this reissue is beautiful. Um, I had the, one of the earlier releases, and his armbands were really, really faded. And he was really kind of loose. But this guy has just got a beautiful red to him. Um, standing next to the bike, you can see he's about that tall. And we can manipulate the guy to ride the bike. He doesn't have... This, of course, does not come with... Uh, specific hands for hold, for riding the bike, like uh, the other 
like the other bikes do, um, and Kuga does not have bike holding hands, but he does come with the weapons holding hands that the other forms come with, and they work pretty well. They're actually at about the right angle for the handlebars. <clears throat> and so he just sits on it nicely, and granted I'm not a motorcycle rider, despite working at a an off-road parts and accessories store for dirt bikes and ATVs, I don't know anything about this stuff, because um, I'm a programmer. But he looks pretty good on it, I think. And it's got the nice kickstand, so he can just stand up. Now, the figure arts bikes come with these little plastic stand dealies that just sit like that. And um, at least for the ones I can think of, the, the wheel, the tire fits in there snugly. And on this one, it doesn't. It's clearly not the right size. So you can use this, but he, he will. Well, maybe you can't use this because it leans too much. If you get one on the back just right, you can wedge it underneath that part of the of the thing with the thing, and it sometimes holds them up, but not always. So you really need to use the kickstand, unfortunately, or find some other. There you go. You can lean it that way a little bit. It seemed to work okay before. So you really need to use the kickstand <clears throat> because these stands are not the right size. Um, I also once used a Tamashi stage that I put the claw up in here somewhere and held it off the ground successfully like this so he could be doing a wheelie. But anyway, this thing is nicely detailed. It's got softer rubber pla or softer -ish, ish plastic it almost feels like rubber but not quite um, the wheels friend speed fits, spin freely there is no articulation as far as turning just the rear I guess you could call it a shock but it's really for the other mode oh these slide out these are soft rubber there now that's what it's supposed to look like it's also got the Kuga logo tampoed on right there um, what else can I say about this? Just, it's really, really good looking. I like it. And like I said, it's it's a good size for the figure arts. The only problem is that you do have to use that kickstand to hold it up. <clears throat> now, the other thing it comes with is the horse armor itself, the Goram. Which sounds like the swear word from the Firefly universe. Um, I believe this is how it goes. Uh, those ones slide out. There we go. <clears throat> the Goram is about this long in comparison to the bike. Which is, it's a bit bigger. Um, I think it's not quite big enough to be correct to scale. But it's, it's probably close. These move. There's a couple of joints here and there, but they do not. They're not tight enough to hold the the figure up on those arms. Well, this side might be. But also, there's not enough jointage in the ankle, I guess, to have it up too high. And these do pay no attention to the bug broken in half. These do not move at all. Um, I guess they can go down like this. There you go, you can get some sort of crawly mode. The paint on this thing is very beautiful. It's a nice, not super shiny. I guess you could call it like a matte gold. Um, the, I suppose, tampo work, or I don't know what this is, but the, the Gronky characters are very nicely, nice and crisp. And um, this is just chrome or chromey looking thing. There are some bits of metal to this, although I can't really tell you specifically right now what they are other than maybe some of the maybe this and some of the, the joints and pins and maybe these aren't. <clears throat> um, the wings also open to reveal another shiny thing. 
and it's got a big tab that plugs into the base, assuming I put it on the right way. Now the Gorum flies. And since that's what it spends the first two episodes of its existence doing in the show, you would certainly want it to be able to do that. And it looks good. Let's move them out of the way. <coughs> uh, I like it anyway. Again, nice shiny red paint on there and there. So its other gimmick is... I don't remember if I have to take him off to do this or not. Um, well, he's got two gimmicks. He's got this little bit, which I'm probably going to have to actually pull out the instructions to remember where this goes. Maybe it clips onto the stand part right there. And then it's a handle, so you can have Kuga holding onto it. Of course, um, since that's the part that goes in there, you would need a completely different other stand that holds it a lot higher if you wanted to display it like this. And again, the Kuga does not have a perfect holding thing hand for it, but the weapon holding one kind of works. Um, I don't know, you have to suspend this from the ceiling or get a couple of big Thomas G. Stage Act 5s with a bunch of extensions and stick it up in the air. I don't know. So that's one part of it. Um, the other gimmick is to bump the camera when you take the little hand adapter off. Um, it rips in half, as you saw earlier. And then... There's a thing in there. You have to put the antennas away. Um, push this up, push that thing out so it locks in place. That same... I don't know if you can see in there because I can't tell what my light looks like. That same what's it that slides into the stand or that the hand adapter holds on to plugs on plugs inside the bike I think you're supposed to slide those feet in and they click in there and then this slides down I feel like I'm still missing something oh because these fold down um, it's got some big complicated maneuvering and it goes something like that. Sheesh, I have to really pull out the instructions. That's embarrassing. There we go. Now I know what I'm doing. Sorry, you fold the legs up and then this folds down in the right spot. Rotate more. Just a little bit more. What's wrong with this one? Ten percent rule with this bike, apparently. <clears throat> and then you're supposed to pull the front fork forward, and then this piece slides out, and this rips in half, also, and unfolds a lot. And does this handlebar thing come off? Should I just get out the instructions and stop making a fool of myself? <laughs> of course not. That would be too easy. Isn't doing this stuff unedited awesome? Exciting. Um, yeah, something like that. How does it go on the bike? Where is it? There's a couple of little indents in there, and those go on the front fork. Let's see if I can slide that into place. At least I think it does. If I'm reading the instructions properly. I think I am, but I am not seeing how to actually get it on there. Oh, this is dumb. Arr, there we go. Click. 
I guess you're supposed to rotate this foot, make it straight. That felt unsafe. So, more or less like that. And you get Trigoram, which I think looks pretty good. It doesn't, um, it doesn't clip together quite as tight as I would like. These just kind of float around. They don't really lock into position because I think they're supposed to be just straight up like that. And you may be noticing the problem with this mode. And that is by moving the wheels up. Now the kickstand is too tall. And that is the only problem with this thing. You're going to have to find a way to prop it up on these feet, which is clearly not right and might look a little weird. Or find something else to balance this, and I have not done that yet. Um, so normally I think what I've done is I cheat and I straighten out Kuga's leg, and then I lean him back against it when I do it right. Except he's not really holding on to it all that tight, so I don't remember what I did. Maybe I just tried it like that and hoped it worked. So that is the only drawback of this thing, the biggest drawback. I think it looks cool enough. I think it looks really good. I wish these clipped in better instead of just being on this arm system that only locks into place in Goram mode. I wish that you didn't have to adjust the wheels so that it reach the ground better. Oh, and I even popped that one out. See, <clears throat> it's really off when you have that wheel in the right spot. I, mean, I guess you can get a little wheelie pose like that. <sighs> okay, I'll try to stop babbling. I think it looks really good. Um, it's about the same price as most of the other figure arts bikes are on Mandarake. And until Bandai decides to make an actual figure arts version, this looks really good. Um, I mean, the paintwork is clean. All of these lines are nice and sharp, especially on the, the Kuga symbol. It, it, it's the right scale for the figure art. He fits on it nicely. The only problem is, how do you stand this thing up? Maybe this is the one that I got to work with the uh, figure arts stand. Yeah, see, that one works a little better. Because it, it is leaning on these, it can actually balance a little better. I guess I could try and stick one under here. I don't know if it would make a difference. Problem is I need these for the two bikes they came with. Yeah, it was resting on those legs. Anyway, so there is Trigoram DX. It was released alongside the Sochaku Henshin line, I believe. But since that's some of them are pretty close to Kuga size, or rather figure art size. I bought it because who knows when Van Dyke's going to give us one. The point of all of this is that like Kuga, I approve. Can you even see his little thumbs up there? Yeah. So, hunt it down if you can. Um, recommend.